Big shit, big shit, big shit, huh? It's a unique hustle, nigga. Big shit, big shit, big shit, big shit, huh? Name another podcast like this. Who gonna bring it to the table? Boss talk. Who your girlfriend favorite? Boss talk. Check it, check it, check it. This is Unique Hustle. It's your boy ECO, and I'm here with the lovely, amazing, official Miss Jamaica. What's going on? Not nah, nothing. Nah, I'm a day all gone. Man, hey, man, we got a guy in here, y'all. He is definitely one of them ones, man. He don't need no, re really don't need no introduction, man. The boy be burning out in them cars, doing all kind of stuff. The boy, <laughs> hey, the boy got a reputation online, too. Especially among them youngsters. Oh, that's he a young man. Yes, sir, he See, is. Hey, man, listen, man. Mr. Goddammit is in the building one more again. Yeah. What's going on? We back at it again, man. Man, yeah. man, good to have you, man. So, man, hey, man, listen, I, I got to see you, you know what I mean, in rap form. I got to see a lot of people. You was approached by many. Kids love you. People love you. The energy that I've seen at the races, man, I was so impressed the way you handled yourself. People approaching. I remember yeah. I was doing a video with you, and a guy came up. He's like, man, you seen me in Arkansas. You didn't quite remember it, but you still showed him love. <laughs> yeah, so for sure. You I, got I to. like that, man. You got to. Yeah. yeah. At some point in time, me and him got together and we did what we do. But you know what I mean? I, I deal with Just, so much people. Yeah, you meet so many people crazy. all the time. Yeah. You, there's mm -hmm. no way you can. People always come to us and think that they can, that we're going to remember them. I'm like, unless you checking in every single week, all the time, we ain't going to always remember nah, you. I do got those certain people that I check in with them on an everyday basis. Like, right. I call people. I talk to people. And you know what I mean? But it's just certain ones. It's just like, uh... You're like, yeah! <laughs> I, you know what I mean? Appreciate the support, though. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> so, man, hey, man, listen, man. Like, when, when them kids, like, kids approaching you and I seen all that, man, do it ever get, do it, do it get tiresome? Or are you cool with it? Or will, how long, you, are you okay with it? How do you deal with it? I, it, it doesn't annoy me because... I was once them kids looking up to people that was famous. So when I see kids put, running up to me, I, I appreciate it, and I, it just makes me keep on going because I wish I had that type of, you know, type of. I wish I had me when I was back when I was growing up because I'd be showing everybody love. Yeah. I, so you didn't have nobody to show you love when you was a kid growing nah, up. Nah, you know I mean that's why that's why I go so hard with what I do because kids really like what I do, and you know what I mean I was once that kid looking up to you know it's, it, you don't get that. How what would I do what I do with me? You don't get that with a lot of these people that got platforms. They they feel you know they feel like okay, I'm too big to be showing mm -hmm. my people. No, these are the same people that got you here where you at. So you know what I mean? But yeah. it's so shocking to me that so many kids actually love that craft. I I never expected. That. I'm thinking it's mainly adults who would love that. So once we met, once I met Dunk Master and you know meeting you and stuff like that, going to the tracks or hearing responses from all these kids, I'm like, dang, so many kids actually love. The races love cars. Yeah, for sure. P kids love cars. Like when I, when, that's what I said. Well, that's what got me into it. I used when I was a kid. I love mm. cars, and you know I'm, now I'm doing something with it. I'm gonna I'm take it. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna keep on going. I'm gonna keep on pushing. Even little girls too, right? Uh, girls, boys, grown men, everybody. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Everybody loves God damn it. Man, God damn it! When you was down there yesterday, man, and, and we we seen Dunk Master go down on that first race, and and that that thing went to shifting. You know Listen, I mean? man, hey man, I, I was ready to go at that point. I'm not a tough dude. Like, I was shocked. I was I'm like, scared. man, because I, yeah, I, I know already he a driver, but I'm like, man, I done been to the race before. I ain't see him do that. So when I seen him. I'm like, dang, man. But it, and he still, you know, put that juice on. I seen him when he done it. It even got more wide. It starts doing more. For sure. You know what I mean? It's just too much power. It's a lot of power. You just got to learn how to control that goddamn thing. You yeah, know that thing. and that other one came up off the ground. It, it every time. Uh, mm -hmm. Come up right on up. I said, oh, come off Has the ground. Has that ever happened to you before where it's almost like a life, like a, a near-death situation? No, nah, I make sure I, I get home every day. I make sure that I'm safe. Cause I got a brand to protect. I got you know I got shit going on. I make sure I'm good at all times. That's good, That's man. Good. That's good. That's what we need, mm -hmm. man. So I mean, what's the when you think about the stages of where you want to see that you know? Cause we know Dunk, he do the, the, the races. You do the burnouts. Like, what is your next phase for the burnout phase? Like, I I, I definitely want to get into racing too. You want to get into racing? That's why me and Dunk Messi got together. We about to build me a Chrysler 300 with a Hellcat motor in it. Okay. Mm. And we about to start whooping some ass. God damn it on the track. You know oh, I mean? wow. so God damn it on the track. So basically it's going to be like, Mr. God damn it, Dunk Master, bust an ass. Mm. So he's going to kind of be my mentor type deal. Yeah, you know what I'm yeah. And one day you're going to go up against him and race him. 
I mean, necessarily. We already raced. I lost. <laughs> you know what I mean? But it's going to be like a, a big brother mentor that he don't even have to race no more. I'm going to be the nigga busting niggas ass. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's my young boy right there. We, we going to, yeah. That's hard, gonna, you man. Know what I mean? That's hard. I like the fact that you guys connected. The fact that you like you guys connected, man. I, I love it. I love the movement, man. I, I didn't expect you to even, you know, be around today. But, you know, <laughs> I, I, when I when I get up, you know, you had told me yesterday you going down to the, to the, you know, the place where you went and yeah. you're doing your burnout, man, and, and, and or just doing the just meet and greet. Yeah. But when you, you know, I see you in an altercation, and I'm like, man, what the heck is going on? So, and I'm first of all ask you like this: like when you go to different cities, is that the type of energy that come, or is it is nah, it good energy well, everywhere? Well, see, see, the problem is, I tell I tell this I tell this to myself all the time. I'm pressure. You now I mean, when I come through, I do what I got to do. So when niggas see that, they be like, Nick, that's that young nigga boy. Even if they're not gonna show no love. But they know I'm coming up and I ain't I ain't playing. Yeah. So when they they, they niggas feel some type when I when I come to their section, they're like, yeah, that that nigga pressure. That nigga we gotta take this nigga out. We gotta try to put this nigga do something with this nigga, but they can't they can't stop greatness. Wow. You is, know what it, I mean? is it because of the presence that you bring when of you course. Know, of, of, of course of the internet and the way that people respond to you? Cause I tell people all the time, I'm a real nigga. You know what I mean? And I can't hang around fake niggas. I'm gonna be real. I don't get if if I was a, if if me and this person had a relationship together and they doing fake shit, I can't be a part of that. So my presence is so pure and I'm so real. I ain't going with the fake shit. Now I'm not I'm not for to fit in with the fake shit either. I'm not for to try to fit in. I'm gonna so, do me. So uh, explain to me kind of what happened. You know, because I see the fight. I see the I see you, the boy run up on you. I don't know him, but it just, I mean I, I see some I see some dumping going on. You know, with the you got some. You definitely yeah, got I mean, some. Uh, uh, nigga, uh, nigga, uh. You look my tits around here. So what was it? What what brought that on? Well, see, the, see the problem is. And and I tell people all the time. I tell people this all the time. On the way to being successful, you're gonna have some shit to come across you. But you, as a person, as a man, as a woman, you got to be able to take on them responsibilities and keep on going. So what it is that is all it's always gonna be somebody to get in your way. So you know what I mean. So you know I don't mind. You, I don't go back and forth be on the internet. I I I'm, I got too much kids. All this stuff watching. So people be talking shit on the internet. They be hating. They be you know what I mean trying to get clout. And then that's where it started. So it comes. It starts on the internet, like people saying yeah. little stuff, inboxing or shooting mind slugs. You, yeah, mind you, before he he, he told me to come to Dallas uh, to Fort Worth, he brought me out, and you know what I mean. He got here. He really had no money like that. You know what I mean? So he he was struggling. So, so this pay. is that person that you're talking. Yeah, about. I'm talking about the same okay. person. So you know what I mean? So I came to Fort Worth. Now I came to what well, it was a Dallas. What was it? It was, it was Fort Worth. I came down there. And I'm like, you know what I mean? Woo -woo. And then we got to Yellow Belly. I don't know if you know about Yellow Yeah, I know, definitely know about Yellow Belly. I knew before you was even around. <laughs> and, then, and then he brought me over there. Woo -woo. And then he was just like, put, nigga, put me in the Motel 6. Oh. Mm. But these people he hosting you. Me. Yeah, he hosted me. But I'm like, bro, like, I'm not no, I'm humble, but I'm not for the sleep in these type of conditions, man. What the fuck going on? Mm -hmm. So boom, Respect. here, here, here. Some white, some people in Austin hit me up. They're like, man, you know, we should, we, 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 we like if you come down here. So I'm like, shit, fuck, why not? So I'm not, I'm not living in these these common type of conditions. I'm not, I'm, I'm a clean nigga. I'm sleeping in a Motel Six. What right. the fuck going on? So he got mad. So I talked to shit on the internet. Oh, 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 Mr. Goddamn ran off my money. I'm like, what money? He, he, he had he didn't shit pay in you. the first place. Right. Fuck me, money. So, you know, he been going on the internet trolling me for the longest, for the longest. I'm, I'm not paying attention to this, man. Boom. Here I come back. He know where I was at. He pulled up. Mind you, he pulled, he, man, he pulled up. Spinning in the parking lot. I'm, I'm just sitting there like, okay. And then he come over to my side. Oh, you a, what's up, bitch ass nigga? Mm. You talking to me? Oh, he come out the car. Yeah, whoa, 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 whoa. I'm like, okay, okay, okay. And then I so as soon as he did that, I no, before he even pulled up, I gave I, I had to I had some phones in my pocket. I gave home I said, hold these real quick. I already know what time it is. I'm not for let no I, I'm too big social media wise, it, 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 you know what I mean? I'm not gonna let, let, no let nobody bitch me out. That's how I beat the nigga ass last time in, in Atlanta. So, you know, he came up to me. I'm gonna tell you about that one too. So he came up to me. 
He put He started talking ooh, ooh. He's talking about something You know what I, I'm for to send your address We go do, do this elsewhere Like what What we gotta do That's what we do right now What the fuck is, What's going on So he, they, they, he got up in my face So I ooh, And they pushed me I said oh yeah I'm gonna beat this nigga ass I ain't playing with this nigga So he pushed me and then boom, that's what that's where it all that's started. That's why I see it on. That's you why I see I mean? it rolling out. He start bleeding. I start giving it to his ass. Mind you, you got some hits on me too. I'm not gonna sit here and say no, you, you didn't hit me. I seen you. He I seen you. You, 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 you don't look bad though. You, you look like you like like you look when I first interviewed you. Like <laughs> hit, it, it, you look fresh. He hit me. He hit me. I, I, I just start getting in his ass, and then boom, and all of a sudden he start like bleeding and shit. Oh, and leaking. I'm like, yeah. Now at this point, he kept grabbing on me and shit. So now I'm about to take off my shirt. So now I'm about to take off my shirt. I'm really about to get in his ass. Now he go in the car. So I so I go back. I go, I go, I go call. I say, hey, come on, come on, come on. I'm not done beating your ass. Come on, come on, come on. So now he like, now nah, this young nigga done fucked me up. Mind you, he, he's an old nigga. He about thirty something. I'm twenty three. You only twenty three years old. You know what I mean? Hold on, we got to drink today. Hold on. <laughs> We got to drink that real quick. So he hit me. So I, I tapped on his car. I said, come on, come on, come on. He go try to ask his partner for a gun and what's not. Really? Yeah. He like, I, when, I hit that, when I hit him, he felt that motherfucker. Mm. Wow. And you know, the, the main thing is you definitely, I mean, it ain't nothing. When I was young, I mean, a little fight ain't never hurt nobody, to be honest with you. Yeah. That's something that now the internet's make it a worse thing because it's it's on the internet. Yeah. But back in the days, we'll we, we'll we'll scuffle, we'll fight, and then as long as somebody we get to go to see another day, it was it, it was. But nothing. at the same time, I don't want to sit there and give people that that's that's not that's not me. No, 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 but no. I'm, I'm not gonna... saying that it's something you look to happen. But when you young. It can tend to happen. People get into arguments, fights, or whatever. As a kid growing up, that's what would happen. But we didn't hold it on our shoulder. We got it off our chest, and you know, it's like get the gloves. I do the little old boxing yeah. and move on. But I don't. I definitely don't don't, don't encourage that. that yeah, I def, that's what I'm saying. So I definitely don't want to encourage. That. I, I don't want to let people know that's that's my type of. That's what I do. But at the end of the day, I'm gonna protect my the brand at all costs. If you come at me at a certain, I'm gonna protect myself. At all costs, I don't care what it is, how it is. We got to deal with that situation. We not for the, we got to go. We got to get home safe. We got some people. We got a lot of people that be depending on us. You know what I mean? But then, um, looking back at the situation, do you think that there was any way you could have de-escalated the matter? Oh no, nah. that had to happen. It had to happen. There's no such thing as de-escalating. If they could push me. I'm gonna get in his ass. Yeah. You know and it, I mean? do you ever think about maybe when you go to certain places that you need to start having security? I think so that's you don't, what it is. Right, I'm so you don't have to do, because if you're protecting your brand, you don't need to be the person out there fighting. You need to, you know, have people that deal with, you know, other people who try to come at you because people are going to always try to come at you to test you, especially uh, when you have this um, out there already. They're, they're going to come try to knock you off your throne, oh, so to sure. say. I had to, I had to, but that that right there had to happen. That's why I say everything in life happened for a reason. That was one of the things that had to happen because well, he wanted to go viral, and he definitely going viral. I Get just, want, I just know, I, I, I definitely <laughs> want. I don't want to see you. You know, I don't want to see that that be the the, the when you the go to cities. People look for you. Kids look for you. Everybody want to see you, Mister Goddamn it, show up. You know the kids love what you do. I, I mean, I witnessed it, like I said, firsthand myself. What you're doing, it's totally uh, something. It's amazing to see how people are interacting with you. People want to be a part of your brand. Mm. Uh, young boys want to. The bloggers running up on you. Want to want to be a part of it. It's just dope to have that at 23 years old. Oh yeah, for sure. Like that's mm -hmm. that's hard, man. And 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 the way you handling yourself, getting around a mentor. Like like Dunk Master, you know what I'm saying? And that whole group, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Those guys, uh, of course, in that racing world, they have their ups and downs as well. But at the end of the day, the way he's scaling and the way he's doing it is so professional. I'm just glad to see that you knitted in. You know, you, you sure. collab across that, collab. That, that, that's that, 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 that's the collab that had to happen as well. Yeah, because we so we so we, we're like the same people. Yeah, like like give it or take because how I'm coming up, that's how he was coming up. It's like that's the older me, and I'm the younger him. Okay, do he know that this happened today? Oh yeah, he, I called him up. I said, "Don't, man." What did he say? He said, "Boy, boy, at least I know you ain't no pussy." Oh, 
At least I know you get out of the fight, goddamn. Like I said, I don't do that. I don't. I'm not. I don't be on the violence. So when I think that's why people think they could try me, cause they, cause I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't promote violence. I don't do that. I don't be on that. But if a nigga play, you know. But it's saying your first one. Or how many? Okay, this is how many like have the, you been in? It's like the second one. The second one. Famous. What okay. happened? It, what the happened other on one the was one? the other ones in Atlanta. So I guess we, I was in Atlanta. I was chilling. And it's, like I said, and you know, so funny. It was the nigga who I beat up today. It it branched off from him first. Why? Cause you know you know how that shit go. Negative people like negative shit. Right. So when this nigga started talking shit about me, nigga, some nigga in Atlanta jumped on it, and he was like, "Oh, whoa, whoa, I be trying to tell you this nigga, this, this nigga, Mister Goddamn, the clown ass nigga." Mm, uh, trying to join forces. You know what I mean? And so he been whoa, 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 and trying to get me to try to go back and forth with him. So. Boom, he said, oh, I can't come back to Atlanta. I said, mm, I can't come back to Atlanta. Fucking, you own, you own Atlanta or something? So I went back there. So we, we uh, Big Boogie, had trying to, he's trying to get some Hellcats and shit for, for his video shoot. So the man pulled up on me. Uh, no, no, no. Matter of fact, we was, we was chilling at a little location. Guy, uh, so I guess the nigga that was talking to me, one of the niggas, he, he, he left. Got on the phone, kept looking back. He's like, and then boom! All of a sudden, I already knew what time was. We said, "I'm so, I'm, I'm so sharp." Mm -hmm. I already, I, I'm, I'm, I'm watching my surroundings. So I already, okay, something's about to happen because ain't no way that nigga just walked off from here to go walk over there and on keep the looking around. And keep looking. I'm like, yeah, something's about to happen. And boom! Ten minutes later, here comes this nigga pull up. Boom! Gun, he went in the back. She grabbed a gun. He said, "Yo, you think somebody about to pull up you?" Bomb! Like I said, the same way he got his ass whooped. The same way the other nigga got his ass whooped too. But he put the gun down. I got the beat in his ass. Oh, he put the gun down. Yeah, he, he ain't shoot. A real shooter is going to pull up and shoot the next question. Right. You ain't going to pull up playing with no gun. So why would he pull it out if you're not going to use it? And then, you know, got the got in his ass the whole time. Beat nigga, he fell three times on the floor. Nigga had cancer. No, not cancer. He had um, asthma. Yeah. Mm. He fell on the floor like three times. I'm, I'm beating his ass. Well, I'm about to put his ass in the coma or not choke hole. You had it's, him in, the, in, the, in that... In that, yeah. in that yeah, and, that and then on top of that, his at the same time, his girl beat me up too. Huh? So I'm getting, I'm beating this nigga ass, and he and his girl beat me up in the head, hit me in the head and shit. Wow! So and you now, were doing all this by yourself? Oh yeah. So now I'm talking about if if you would have gave me the gun, I'd have killed that nigga right then and there. Dead. Because wow. I, I, I don't play that. Like you know what I mean? You don't just pull up on niggas like that. And then you know I got his ass whoop whoop whoop. And then I, uh, I got, because I don't know what's up with these niggas. They like grabbing my shirt. I don't like, I don't like that. I like to throw straight hands. So he grabbed my shirt. He broke up. He took on my shirt. I called him out. He, he was hot. And I, he started to hide behind the van that he came in because like, let me just connect. Yeah, yeah. Like, he don't nigga, want no more. He don't want it. He felt it. He like, oh shit, this nigga, yeah. So five minutes I've been calling him out. He want to be, like, so it's like, at, at this point I'm like, man. So do they finally back off after they get, to, get what they looking for? Of course. Of course. Yeah, talked a little shit, talking about I got my ass whooped. I'm like, what? How is that? But you know, like I said, I don't. But at I the end of the day, you got. And, and this is a grown man brand, as well. Listen, and but you gotta understand, these guys who who this is happening with their brand is not nearly the size of your brand. Of course not. That's why they're doing that. And and you being a young man, you know what I'm saying. You know, kind of, you ain't fit to just be out here backing down and running and moving and, and you know what I'm yeah, saying, you ducking your right? tail. But you know, but like I said, right. that that the main thing is that. I'm just glad you're safe, man, and I, I pray for those other guys too, man. Because, like I said, unity need to be in the community. We black, bro, and that's why it only happens in the black community, man. Yeah, I, I don't like that. You, you know, know what I'm saying? Man? Why, why we just don't 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 get together and put some shit? But you want to come and want to come up and fight and cause trouble? Yeah. And then the funny part is, you pull up and you get your ass beat, grown ass man. That's tw that's that's the second grown ass man. The one in Atlanta was grown ass man. It's grown ass man. I don't get it. I'm 23 years old. What the fuck y'all? What the fuck y'all want with me? Y'all yeah. mad because I got shit going on for myself? And, yeah, I mean, it, but but see the thing. That's what comes with it though. Yeah. I know what position I hold. I know I'm pressure, and I'm going and I'm going crazy. So with that said, people will try to interrupt what I got going on because they see. I'm going crazy. And they know I'm pressure. Mr. Goddamn it, don't let nobody trick you out of your position. Oh, no. Nah. You I see what I'm that. saying? Because it, it don't take but one situation to have you because if you'd have got that gun during that time you got or shot something happened, and, and then you, if if it had been something where they could trump up some charges on, you know they're going to do that. For sure. So you can't, can't let nobody 
the devil. Don't let nothing trick you out your position, man, because some, God got something big for you, man. Oh, oh, for sure. I already know. Big, I, great. I, I was supposed to be in this position right now. I'm, yeah. I'm supposed to be successful. I'm supposed to be going where I'm going because I'm leading and, and motivating a lot of people to get up in the morning and just be great. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. So Who taught you to throw them hands like that? <laughs> Who taught you to throw them hands like yeah, that? Man, I'm from the islands, the man. Streets. We don't play that shit. Oh, here so we you go. Been, you been fighting here ever since go. you was little? Nah, nah, I wouldn't say that, but I was raised right. You know what I mean? I don't I don't play that. I'm too big to be... I mean, I don't see how nobody gonna run up on you like that no way. Because you know, you I'm big. saying like, ooh, ooh, you would you would think twice like, yeah, that nigga big ass nigga. But see, that's why I had to post that video just to show everybody like this ain't what y'all think it is. Yeah. yeah, I got I got kids watching me, I got other people watching me, but at the same time, that's that's a prime example of a hating ass nigga that y'all y'all gotta watch out. This is the type of shit you gotta deal with on the come up. That's it. Everybody gonna be coming for your your head. You gotta protect yourself. Let niggas know that. Okay, now I'ma think. Now, it, now a nigga think twice before they come through. Now they gonna think three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, I ain't fuck with that nigga. Fuck that. Yeah, cause he ain't no punk. He ain't not gonna do. You're not just gonna run up and yeah. slap him. Slap yeah, him. That, that's not happening. Yeah. See, I was wondering about that when I saw it on your page. I was like, normally when somebody get into a fight or something like that, it's usually be like blogs or somebody else posting it, not be on that person's page. And when I saw it on your page, I was like. Nah, why? Why? Because why you, you got to protect this brand. I got. I got to because because I don't want niggas feel like this ain't. I know why he done it. Because you know I mean? if you don't do it, that the, the narrative can be turned too. Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah, you can oh, take. God, yeah, you see what I'm saying? No, no, no. So no, you no, got to no, do no, something no. to protect your brand. For sure. I get. I understood exactly okay. why he done it because I know already how they can flip. For they sure. can try to figure out ways to cut and clip. You can oh, do yeah. a lot of different things with visuals. To be honest with you. Oh yeah, for sure. All that or a video could come out where it could be. Saying something negative and you didn't yeah, they already, put nothing out. You know, so they already said, "Oh, Mister Goddamn the bitch, he pulling hair." <laughs> so I, yeah, this, this, yeah, we posting this, yeah, that's what we doing. See, and and like I said, the main thing is, man, I, I like I said, twenty three. I ain't for to sit here and lie and act like I didn't have my ups and downs with niggas because it happened. Oh, yeah, for sure. I ain't for the play. I'm not for the play like my son didn't do it when he was that age. No, I mean, you know what I'm saying? So I'm not saying it's the best thing, but I better, I'd rather see you do that than to be out here killing each other with guns. I right. really do. Mm -hmm. And if you can walk away and two men can fight and they, they can live to see another day, I'd rather see that than to see the last resort. You Mind you, he was on that type of thing talking about giving the gun. All right, you can do whatever you want to. Just know we're going to air this bitch out. Yeah, just I'm glad it that. didn't happen, man. You know what I mean? Glad it didn't happen. So, well, how did you? I, I see the you know the car. Every, I, I in the car. I wanted to drive it, but then I know my old lady gonna get mad. Come up. No, it might be too much power. You know what I'm saying I was gonna get in that thing. Yeah, she, because you don't want to yeah, ride yeah, bikes. She, you don't want you to ride fast cars. Right. Yeah, yeah. But it's she, a, it's a 50 she 50. Hate, hating on me. You know what I'm saying? But at any rate, man, when you first got into this, man, give me your first experience of how what made you just jump in. Boy, you know what's so crazy? Like I tell everybody, this was meant for me. You know what I mean? So, I was like I said, I was in the car club. With the, uh, okay, this is how I started. I was in the car club. I had a V6 Challenger. I joined the club. And mind you, I ain't know nothing about Hellcats yet. You know what I mean? So I, so I joined the club. I'm seeing all these little Hemis pulling up with these little boom, boom, boom. You know, I had a little V6. I was cool with my V6. I put some 22s on there. And I was nice. destroyed gray. And I was, I had, I thought, I, my shit, I thought my shit was the clean nice. shit on the road, nigga. Yeah. So I got, so I want to tell you, every, every time when you get in these type of cars and shit, it changes your life. No matter what you do. So, you know what I mean? My homeboy say, you know what, I got this car club down the road. You know, we'll put this shit together. I'm like, okay, shit. I pull up. I was bullshitting for like a little minute because I'm not just gonna pull up on people like that. So the first meet, you know, what I mean, pull up, boom, boom. I said, "Shit, I ain't no car. What's going on?" It's a little, little Hemi for a three. Cause it's different trims. It's, you got the you got the V6, you got the five seven, you got the uh, three ninety two, you got the uh, Hellcat, and so on, so on. So I'm like, that nigga shit clean as hell. What the fuck going on? And then boom, three ninety two pull up. I'm like, oh shit. And then and then out of nowhere, the Hellcat pull up. I'm like, so what the fuck going on? So therefore, like, I feel like, cause since I like like fast food so much, I'm like, this this is my niche. This is mm -hmm. this is me. Like mm -hmm. my cars and all that shit. And you know, what I mean, more and more, it, it it made me realize, like, you know, it made me become the person. I was starting to become the person who I was supposed to be. Yeah. So I've been with them like a year or two. 
But then again, I started the YouTube shit. I still had a job. And um, what you call it? And then what happened was I started getting, like, you know, traction with the YouTube. Yeah. And and I finally got to where I was going. Not, not where I was going, but, like, I, I started to do, do me. And then I was, like, I wasn't getting the support from them. Let me ask you this. How, like, on your YouTube channel, how, who told you to do that? How did you know to build your YouTube channel? Somebody had reached out to me. He's like, man, you should post shorts because I was posting long videos. Who? Uh, Santana Scat out of just uh, a guy that just know. seen you that yeah, just yeah, it, it, it's, it's, it's some it's some niggas out there it's some real niggas out there that want to be seen successful and, and he said man you ought to go he ahead said, and do bro, some YouTube and I'm like cause I've been doing the YouTube I've been posting long videos but he said bro you should try like you know YouTube shorts so I said cause he's like my, my boy be getting millions and millions of views over that shit so I'm like shit let me try it out I'm pretty sure I, I started doing that started doing some other shit and numbers start going up and you know, the bigger you get, the, you have to change your environment because, like I said, not everybody's gonna be happy for you. Not everybody, and in, then in, in your energy, their energy, not gonna be good for you because they hate some hating ass niggas. So I was getting the support. So I left the motherfuckers, and I, like I said, I was at work one day. Now I didn't leave them yet. So I was at work one day. I was like, you know what? My my popularity was blown up in Charlotte, North Carolina. So I said, I'm gonna just drop. I'm gonna because at the time I had a Hellcat Challenger. So I said, you know what? I'm gonna drive my car one day up there. Mind you, I never, I never left the Bahamas. I never left um, Florida. Florida. Ever since I flew in, I said, man, you know what? Let me go ahead and try something out. Man, I drove my car from Florida to North Carolina, and let me tell you, it was a, it was a movie. It was a movie. And after that happened, I was like, you know, I'm gonna take this shit on the road. So it's like, in order to be successful, you gotta take risks. You have to take risks. You have to I, jump, right? I don't give a fuck what you doing. What you if you want if you want to do something in life, you have to do take risks. You have to change your environment, change your circle. You have to do shit that you never did before, and that's what the fuck I did. I said, you know what? I'm gonna start. I'm gonna go on a tour. Now we traveling. We going different places. We doing shit every single day. We somewhere. We doing wow, something every day. That's beautiful. That's beautiful because you get booked and everything, and I people want to see you. They want to see me, and after this fight, I guarantee I'll forget the book. <laughs> Hey, we need that nigga over here. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, let me get there. Man, yeah. I just like like so when when I asked you about the YouTube, you know, you youngsters, y'all y'all take it lightly, but there's a lot of people that would love to do what you're doing. You say you was doing long videos at first, yeah, and then videos. you decided if somebody came to you and said you probably could do better with the shorts, the shorts, and maneuvering around on on YouTube and stuff was something that you you wanted to be known for. Honestly, and on Facebook, are you on Facebook as well? I'm a, I'm on all platforms. Okay. Honestly, I just liked the cars, and I was like, you know what? I just I, I'm just doing what I love, and I, I I don't know I got famous because I tell people all the time, they they want to become YouTubers and all this shit. I said, listen, and when you do something you love, every all that shit gonna fall right behind it. But if you jump into the game talking about something you want to get famous, you want to do this, you doing it for the wrong reasons. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? So I, I, I have a passion for this shit. This is what I do. I do this on. This is my life. I do this shit. You know what I mean? And I put it now, now. Now I'm getting paid for it. I'm, I'm doing what I'm, I'm doing. What I love, and I'm getting paid for it. And I'm living how I gotta live. I ain't break gotta break it down to me, how as far as burnouts and just how to maneuver that car like that without it getting out of control. How do you master that art? Honestly, it was something I, I learned by myself. Cause I see, I see all these niggas spending all the time. I'm like, you know, let me try something. I start spinning. It, 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 it didn't, it didn't go well. And I kept trying. I kept trying. I kept trying until one day. I said, no, what? Let me jump in this car. Let me go crazy. And that was it. It was like, damn, Mr. Goddamn do YouTube. He do this. He make content. And he's spinning. Oh, it's a bad motherfucker. So, and, that, and those collabs would make it even more better because not only that, I see the way you talk, the way you carry yourself. Um, your image is something that, that brings a presence with it. Oh, for sure. So it ain't like you be. just know. You, you, everybody think you can do something, but you got to have a certain a, a tonality, the way you bring your pitch, the way you bring your... Or your the way you bring your energy to a city. You, you definitely ha you definitely have to have a personality. Yeah, you definitely have to be yourself. Cause a lot of these niggas be out here don't they they be trying to pretend somebody they're not. I'm a real nigga. Before I got famous, after I get famous, before I get rich, after I get, I'm gonna be the same stand up guy that you're talking to right now, giving people information, talking to people, you had just having a good just having a good person as a person. That's hard. And How often do you have to change out them tires? <laughs> it depends, cause niggas be letting me spin their car, so I don't, really, I don't really, have, I don't really spin my car unless I have to. Mm. But niggas be like, hey, hey, give me where the keys at? Let's goddamn go ahead, go crazy. 
I mean, they just want you to go crazy. You know what I mean? That's how it is. Because you, because you built your name, they want to see you do it because it makes them look. Because, because like I said, like, like I said, the last interview. After I touched that car, it's different. That, that's that's not that's not gonna be the same car after I touched it. But Mister Goddamn touched my car, boy. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah this, 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 this. I be happy with me up every time. Hey, man, man, Scott, you gotta come do a video on my car. You gotta come spin my wow. car. You gotta come do this. And you know what I mean? It's and and good. once once somebody get like like I know you uh you you went down to, uh I guess did did you go to Kansas when you seen that eleven year old or did nah they came I seen to you they internet. came up to you they came, I was with Dunk Master before the show in um in South Carolina. Okay. But everybody kept telling me, man, Mister Goddamn, you gotta link up with this kid. You gotta do this with this kid. So I'm like, okay, sure, cool. cool. If it, if, it, if it meant to happen, it's going to happen. So shit, I came to South Carolina, Dunk Master Shop. Dunk Master said, you know that little kid that be spinning this shit? I said, oh yeah, he coming. So I'm like, oh shit, we're going we gonna to do a video. We're going to go viral, go crazy. Wow, that's that's dope. That's dope. And yeah, the reason yeah. I say that is because that's that's a part of uh, one of the guys I know that be on the show. Uh, uh, smoke the tires and not the homies. You know uh, what I mean? Yeah, yeah. They're, 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 yeah, one of the guys that be with me. And so I always want to shout them out because I always mess with them about that. So every time I get a chance, I say it. <laughs> There's some good people. I, 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 never, them, I, never, sure. knew, I, ne I never knew nothing even about that until meeting the you know my guy. So I was like, okay, this is a world that I don't know nothing about, which is Thanks. dope. And then That's I meet dope. you. And, and I didn't even know you existed till till uh, Dump Master told me about you. Oh yeah, yeah, I didn't know. I'm, uh, he, we I, older. We older. Yeah. So we ain't know. So when I find out, I'm like, okay, this is live right here, man. So man, when you when okay, so wh where are you headed next? What what city? Uh, next I'm going to uh, me and Dump Master got another show, in Mississippi Gulfport. Mississippi Gulfport. And after Gulfport, we be heading over to the Bay Area. Are y'all going to the? Yeah, yeah we be going that way where the spinning shit started. Go to the Bay Area, uh, California, and after that we go to LA after the, the week after next. When is, when, that, is when is LA? Uh, next next week, the Bay Area. No, uh, LA not. LA the last week, uh, the last week. Okay, I got some stuff set up for y'all. And then after that we will be going to Vegas. And after I don't have nothing in Vegas, maybe. C Mag now, and but I have to see. But I know for a fact LA, I got you set up. And then after. And then after, and then after Vegas, and then after Vegas, we be going to um, North North no North Carolina Durham, and after Durham, we be going to um, I think either Detroit. I'm sorry, hold on. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, either Detroit, uh, uh, either Detroit, or we go to um, what's that place called? Ohio, and then after Ohio, we be going to uh, Murder Beach, South Carolina, for Bike Week. And then after that, we'll be in Arizona the first week of, uh, of June. And then I think after that, we got some other shit coming. So we, we got shit going. I got stuff working, man. You I like man? it, man. I, I love it to see you. I love to see the plan come together like it's doing for you, man. Um, so, man, hey, man, like I said, man, yeah, hey, man, I, I had to talk back with you about just be, you know, what happened because I know already that's not really what, you know, what you stand for. Yeah, I don't you stand, stand for, for helping shit, the you kids I mean? and, and, you know, yeah, you might have to hit a few people and all that, uh, 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 you know, in a boxing match. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can knock we get a sense, boxing match? Knock some sense in motherfucker. Can we get a head. boxing match, yeah. you know, and get, and get you in? I might have to get you with a whole lot of wood shit. That's that, the guy. Mind here. you, they was already calling me out, but I'm like, man, I'm not for to do that shit. Like, that's not. I'm nah, not, I'm we not got a boxing that. ring here some old boys got. They, they go out to, and, and, you know, they rough it up out there, so you, you know, can with do a real. So, yeah, so you can go uh -huh. get it off your chest. You're you know like, you have some against me, and, you know, let's go right here to this ring right here. Get it off Put on some gloves and get. Get to it. Them niggas already trying to call. I'm like, man, yeah, go on, get the fuck on. I was even about to have a timer. But but if your brand is if your brand is is selling it and, and it's really not even worth it to even jeopardize it or either you know it's not worth just it. Just get security. Just yeah. get security. And, and when you, you come next it. time, I do uh, my partner. You know, security, whatever. Just call me. Like I said, when you go, he'll go. He'll tell you. He go. He do everything with me. So that way, you don't even have to be dealing with that. Mm. You out here to do your thing. And like I said, you with the Dunk Master uh, collab. That you 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 know you engrafted in now family sure. you know family first bro no, and you no. have a lot of people that love you because your phone be blowing up everybody <laughs> talking, trying to make sure you okay man, I, when that shit happens I done got about fifty some calls fifty calls man shit go man let me tell you something people just and, and people want to make sure you are safe people yeah, love you man you know what I'm saying they want to make sure everything good man but thank you so much for coming on the show man how can people get a hold of you Mister Goddamn all platforms Mister Goddamn it all platforms and it's D A M N I 
D-A-M-M-I-T Because I was sure Looking up D-A-M-M-I-T <laughs> Yeah it's, it's G-O-T D-A-M-M-I-T. G-O-T Right Got Got How God. is that online Like do they ever Mess with you about that Nah Cause Cause I changed the I changed the O Because it, it was God at first uh-huh. Yeah cause that's what I was looking for is G-O-D But then when I looked I couldn't find it I was like we Okay changed, no we changed, we, changed the T, we changed the T to D We changed the, the D T to a T. T Yeah so it's like So now it's like Got instead of God, you know, God, yeah, like, you know, people, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. So it's God, damn it, like God, I'm know? damn it. Yeah. I'm just glad that you figured it out. Yeah, you know what sure. I'm saying? I had to change it. I'm like, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Go. Young hustler on the go, man. Yeah, man. Say, man, listen, man, we love you, brother. Mr. Sure. Goddamn it is in the building. We got much love for him. You get everything out of him you need. Yes, sir. Man, hey, man, listen, man, it's been another great segment. We got we can't we can't we can't forget about the, these drinks that she. <laughs> you know what I mean? We need that. We need some. Man, drinks. shout out to Coop, man, who keep on bothering me. Man, come in here for a minute. Let me let me yeah yeah get in the camera. Yeah, yeah, since, yeah you talk, since you talking, say something. Yeah, say that something. Was, yeah, that's what you want. That shit happen. You know yeah, I mean? yeah, well, yeah, 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 yeah. There you go. So that is that's Coop cool right there. That's my that's my guy right there. You see him with the boss talk one on one shirt day one. He with boss talk, and at the end of the day, he was capturing the footage. He was behind the scenes, behind the scenes scene. with that shit. Because it, it really was a movie too. I ain't gonna lie. It was. Hey. Whooping that nigga ass was a movie. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I just, I just know that I always got him around. And as soon as it happened, he, he, he called me and let me know something was going down. Yeah, so I said, I, I got to get a hold of you, man. Make nice. sure you're good, first of all. And second of all, make sure we put the right narrative about your brand out there. For sure. That you out here trying to do the right thing. And you ain't, you know, you got a lot of kids look up to you. That's man, all I had to good tell. old time. Everybody about the kill kids out. We was, we was having a good time. So I went inside. Cause they gave they gave me this, this high ass chip shit. Uh, they right. wanted you to try to hide that shit, I man. Saw I was fucked that. up. I saw that you took that chip challenge. I'm like, what made you want to take that challenge? They gave me a hundred dollars. I'm like, you know, I'll get a hundred dollars, and I think it's gonna go viral. So I, it, I was like, fuck, man. I took that shit. You started, and you did bitch. you finish it? Did, did you finish? And I saw you went over to the side like you was about to throw up or something. That shit hot as shit. It was hot. So I ate that bitch. My mouth was for half like thirty minutes. So you know, we get to the meat. How I much milk shit. did you drink? How like much two, milk like, did like, like two cups? Did it help? Yeah, it did. So I so so I gotta take a shit. I'm like, fuck my stomach fuck with me. I'm taking a shit. Ooh, I come outside. It's a whole shit I said. Oh. So it happened right after you got through taking your little old bath. Man. Yeah, wow. yeah, ain't no, hey, hey, you can't get, ain't no time in getting ready. You got to be ready, stay ready, you have to <laughs> not get ready, right? Goddamn, yeah, hey right. man, it's been another great segment. <laughs> boss talk one on one, where the bosses talk. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yes, sir.